Hey guys, I'm just jumping on here a little early um, because, you know, I'm out here and just early. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to do a, um, a live of a little project that I've been wanting to do for a while. I'm a little cockeyed, so this is the first time that I've actually um, sort of... I, I want to try and get a Facebook Live scheduled for a um, certain time every day, and I chose tonight, uh, Tuesday night, because um, I was thinking that um, Tuesday night is just Monday. You know, it's not a Monday night, so you're not too tired, and blah, because it's Monday, Tuesdays. You know what's going on on Tuesday nights not much Wednesday nights church hello um what so I don't know what what's going on on Tuesday nights not much so I thought I'd do maybe try Tuesday nights and I'd like to do a live and not just do a uh, complete stamping but do like a, a crafting type um, a crafting type um, video where I kind of create stuff um, and you know maybe a couple of cards but you know maybe not um, there's a lot of things that I've got in mind that I want to do so good evening if you're here shout it out uh, where you're from I think I just went into video only mode so I am also on cell data because internet has been really bad I don't know if it's because everyone's on the internet and in my house I know a lot of people are on the internet <laughs> um, but I don't know if it's just I know the internet's been terrible today hello hello from Knoxville Tennessee how are you um, but anyway so um, um, I'm trying to set up a day to work and let me grab my iPad right quick so I can actually see what time it is because I want to get uh, started and you guys just ignore the mess behind me okay so we've got just a few more minutes so uh, how cold is it in Knoxville Tennessee because it's pretty darn cold here I mean mm, it's pretty cold <laughs> I know I think um, We've been down in the freezing uh, temps for the past two two nights, I think. And I don't think it's going to get to freezing tonight, but uh, it's been cold. And then I hear we're going to get, in Georgia, we're going to get um, some wintry mix. So that's going to be fun. I'm trying to find a place to put my iPad. If you could just see my workspace, it's like, oh my gosh. I had to finally, after um, doing a few things from the Christmas rush and stuff I finally just had to clear off an area that's like <laughs> this much to be able to do some some uh, crafting but then hopefully I'll get back into having it organized and stuff it's just crazy where you see my eyes going it's just <laughs> nuts 33 in Knoxville oh my gosh oh my gosh that is chilly if you ask me because uh, you're still south you're still deep south <laughs> We went to Disney World um, the 1st of December, and I was, and it snowed here where we're at in Georgia. We got like almost 10 inches. I'm sure that Tennessee got uh, a good chunk of something like that. And I was hoping that in Orlando, Florida, that it was going to be warm. No, it wasn't. It wasn't warm at all. I was like, oh God, help me, <laughs> please. It was very cold. In, in Florida, cold is cold because it's so moist down there. They have a lot of moisture in the air. And so when that wind starts whipping around and blowing around you and your ears or anything, you would better have them muffed up because it's cold. It's really cold. So, But, um, but yeah, we brought the cold weather with us when we went down to um, Orlando on the 8th. And um, Disney was almost miserable 
uh, because of that. But you, we toughed it out, and it was a Christmas theme, so, you know, we liked it. It wasn't, you know, warm, so it felt like Christmas. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm hoping that this is going to be a regular thing. I can't promise anything because, like, my baby girl is supposed to be asleep an hour ago. <clears throat> no, she's not. She's in there with her dad. <laughs> she's, he's promised me that he's going to keep her contained. We'll see. Uh, the last time that I think that I went live on um, was during the day, and she was asleep. She was taking a nap. <clears throat> she doesn't nap that often anymore. She's almost three. She really needs to. But uh, she uh, locked me in my craft room, which is actually my garage. Um, she locked me in. Yeah, and she was in the house, and I was out here, and I was like, oh, my gosh. So I had to run around the house because we have a key hidden somewhere <laughs> and get in the house. And she knows what she's doing when she uh, takes the opportunity to... Um, if you're busy she understands that you're busy and she's very mischievous she will get into the things <laughs> that she knows she's not supposed to get into um, anything from uh, cookies she finds cookies suckers uh, so instead of hiding those things because she's very very smart and she figures it out um, we've just completely left them out of the house. Now, cookies and suckers are good for some people. Not very good for her because she goes ballistic. Ballistic. I mean, it's crazy. It's one of those things where she eats it and she's she literally, if you haven't seen a child bounce off the walls, she bounces off the walls. Yes, she does. So... <laughs> So yeah, so he's got her contained. I call her my little, my little monster, my little, uh, we call her wildcat actually because she is like a little wildcat. Um, so I hope that the volume's okay here on this. I'm trying to um, see what time it is again. I know I've got a couple, of, just two more minutes and I'm gonna get uh, started crafting. But um, I've got a heater on. So if it's too loud, let me know because um, I've got it fairly warm in here. So I could actually turn it off if you really can't hear me. I've got a mic, um, one of those lapel mics that I can hook up to my phone because I'm actually filming this on my iPhone. But um, I can hook it up, but I think it picks up the uh, heater, like the background noise, more than um, just the phone mic. So sounds good, good. Good, good, good. So that is awesome. Um, what? One other thing. Celebration is coming up for Stampin' Up. I'm so excited. January 3rd. We have a year-end sales um, going on right now where our Christmas and our holiday catalog, all our Halloween, the fall stuff, everything's going out, uh, which is very sad. Uh, but some of my favorites are staying, and I was really happy that those were the ones that ended up being my favorites, like the Painted Harvest. I'm really pleased with that. So I think that's going to make a comeback in the annual catalog, so I'm really happy with that. So it, if you don't know what I do, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I blog at stephaniedstamps.com. So um, that is looking at the time again. Uh, yep, it's 9 so I'm going to get started. Hopefully I'm not pushing everything out. And um, I'm going to flip the phone and flip the um, what the phone is on, actually. I may need to keep that. But um, I'm going to flip it around so, um, so you can um, see and so I can see. So, oops. See if I can do this without, like, going crazy here. I think you guys just saw my mess. Hang on. Actually, it's... Sorry. I'm going to turn you around now. Yeah, that was crazy. Okay, now I have to adjust. 
a couple other things to get it right. So that's why I was like, mm, I'm not really sure that's what I want to do. You're going to see my mess even more. There we go. Finally, I'm getting somewhere here. Okay, so if anybody else jumps on, I can see a little bit of conversation, but not a whole lot. Um, like I can see down toward the, uh, the bottom, so I can see new things that are popping up, sort of. So let me know if anything's kind of out of focus or a little wonky. I don't want to. I'm really bad about uh, that. So what we're going to do today, let me show you. Um, this is something that um, I uh, found and it sort of came apart and it's not, and it's the, the material's kind of lightweight and stuff, but it was a little note card holder. And I'm like, I really like this. I like the idea of it. So, I thought, you know, making a, uh, there's lots of, I've got a box that I've made uh, from a tutorial. This is just something that I have made to just put a few cards in and I've just covered it with paper. And it holds, uh, the cards that went in there were um, three and five eighths by uh, four and um, I think a quarter. And then you, you would have to make your own envelopes. And this is just one that I threw together using just regular uh, printer paper. So basically this one, this was the one that I did before. It's very simple and it's very, kind of quick and easy. And I'll have on my blog or um, here I'll put under the description here, I'll put some uh, measurements. And this is the size card and this is the color palette that I'm going for now. So the um, the main thing that I started with it was very vanilla cardstock, and I cut it at uh, 10 inches because from here the inside, or from here to here is nine and a half. So I cut it at 10 inches, and then a quarter here I scored it, and a quarter here I scored it, and you can see that. So that's that and I'm hoping that as people jump on guys let me know that you're here say hey and I'm going to um, clip off these corners because then we're going to make the part of the flap because no paper was long enough totally to go from here to here uh, so we had, I had to uh, create a way to attach these, this part of it. And so then you have this part which will attach to that. And on that one, when it's the same size as this, and let me pull out, I don't know what I did with my measurements. Um, it's this is five and three quarters so this is this is, will be five and three quarters hello how are you guys so this will be five and three quarters this way when these are folded and then I'm going to clip those so yeah this is just something simple that could hold maybe three three to four cards so that's one side um, and I haven't decided, so you're going <laughs> to, I haven't decided on um, what all, how much I'm going to decorate or whatever on that. But I just thought I'd jump on here and show you. Now, I love working with paper. I really do. And um, with cardstock, um, stamping is definitely one of my favorite things to do. Uh, but working with paper and doing things with papers, just, that's my, my big thing. Um, okay. <clears throat> so I, um, 
Now that I've got these measured, cut, and scored, and all of them's trimmed, then I'm going to uh, work on the paper part. And this is the part that I haven't totally decided. Um, as you saw with this, because this is the card, I mean, I did decide, but I've not really, everything's not solid and written in stone. I haven't even cut it out. Um, so I have Soft Sky. And I'm thinking that I'm going to mat the main thing, the main mat or the mat behind like this has Peekaboo Peach. I think I'm going to do Soft Sky. Um, so, for that one, because this is five and three quarters, I think this will be five, four and a half by five and a half, something like that. Uh, I think I'm going to make it just a little bit larger than four and a half. Because the uh, border on the other one I didn't like. Uh, so that's four and three quarters. Let me look and see. I barely want an eighth. Yeah, that will be an eighth going around. So by five and I believe not five and a half, but five and an eighth or five and three quarters maybe. No, it's five and three quarters. So let's do five and an eighth. See, I tell you, this is just me kind of doing it on a fly here, on the fly, right? So yes, that's what I want. That's the border that I want, just an eighth all the way around. So that was um, five and five eighths. Five and five eighths by four it's four and a half did i say four and a quarter hello hey girl how are you jamie um four and what did i say that was now i can't even remember yeah i think that was four and let's see if it matches yeah four and five eighths um so, yes, that's the, that's the border that I'm doing. So this is the paper that I've got. Uh, that's the paper that I made the card in. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. I'm making um, this. I, I got the, um, the idea from this thing. It held some cards. It's old. It's from the early 2000s. Uh, I think my mom had it. And so I kind of made one to hold cards. You, It would hold maybe three cards, three or four maybe. You could do it as a gift or whatever. But this is the little card that I made working on, you know, basically just a little thank you card. Um, so I've got this side, this and this. This is the what card uh, pack is this. Bundle of Love Specialty Designer Series Paper. So, I think I'm going to go with this. I think I'm going to go with a gold foil. Hello! Um, so, the gold foil and then mat it with the sky. Huh. Okay. I think I'll use this one and maybe this one. So we'll see. We'll see what we've got. So if this was five and five eighths by four and five eighths, then this one can be five and a half by four and a half. Does that sound right? <laughs> I'm like just doing this. And I cut it wrong. Look at that. I don't know. What do you think? That way or this way? <sighs> I have got enough. So I think I will do this one five and a half 
I think I'll do it up and down by four and a half. So I hope, yeah, I like that better. We'll just save that for something else. My scraps, my scrap pile is growing huge and I've got to, this is very vanilla and the base that I started with is very vanilla. And this card that I made is very vanilla with some gold foil. I have that's why I don't throw away any scraps. You see that? <laughs> I don't throw away scraps. <clears throat> I have a scrap drawer, a scrap bin, anything. Hmm, okay. So we're gonna go with that. So that was five and a half by four and a half. So yeah, okay. So we'll do that, and then these. So now this one, let's see, this should be, yes. So this one is, let me grab a ruler, because now I can't, and I wrote my measurements down, but now I'm, this is two and three quarters by five and, th uh, five and three quarters. So yes, this should be, five and five eighths yes that's what that is and two and did I say two and three quarters I only want a little bit of the vanilla hello everybody um, I only want a little a little bit of that vanilla cardstock showing so that's that and now let's see what <laughs> okay so this one, well, let me cut one more of that soft sky before I get carried away and start. <clears throat> so it was two and five eighths. Seems like everything's working out to be either two and five eighths or five and five eighths. Is that right? That's right. So this will go on this one. So I hope everybody is staying warm. Yes. Now we'll switch to the goat foil. Because it is cold. It is cold. So with this one, I know that we need five and a half. Let me get to my half. Can you guys see that? Ah. I swear I'm so it's ridiculous how and I know that was two and five eight so I'm gonna do two and a half on this one and see before I commit and make that other cut so let's see what that I'm bad with measurements I'm just so terrible there we go that's that one so that is right two and a half <clears throat> And the other one. Okay, now let me get that matted. Let me get it on anyway, and get it and get it matted. So let's put this one on first. And so yes, it's so cold outside here in. If you're not in the state of Georgia and you're watching from someone at somewhere else, it's like, ugh. Our, um, we have a pool and our pool pump has been, um, there I am using a ton of that fast fuse, but, um, our pool pump has been running. It seems like it, it did cut off. <laughs> it cut off today. Um, uh, but it does. I'm going to mat this before I move on to that the outside panels um, but it's been running and um, so we also have a Polaris cleaner pool cleaner it's like an automatic vacuum that runs through the pool and um, we think there it started I can't remember if it was Christmas night it started it was so stinking loud and I thought am I the only person hearing this it was just a 
really crazy whining, uh, loud mechanical whine that uh, was just, oh my gosh. It was almost, I mean, I could hear it in the house and our pool's a good way away from the house. Okay, so now that's done. I'm going to press that down so it gets a good stick. And then I'm going to do this one. This one, this uh, paper is a lot easier to work with than um, this paper because it was more directional. Uh, because there was an up and a down. On this one, you don't have an up and you don't have a down, but you have a, you know, a side to side or whatever pattern. So um, that one was a lot more difficult to work with. But anyway, so the pool, the Polaris pump has been blaring an awful noise um, for the past few nights. So yeah, we're probably going to have to get that thing replaced. Um, because it has to, when the freeze protection comes on, um, yeah, when the freeze protection comes on, you've got to, um, you'll hear it. Um, so now I'm going to do that. So there's that. I like it. And then I'll decorate the, the front of it. And then I thought about doing like a belly band. I didn't do a belly band on the front, on the other one, but I was thinking that to do a belly band, um, would be cute to hold it closed, but I haven't made up my mind on what I want to do with it yet. Haven't yet. So let me see if I can get this one squared and on there and then this one. So I hate it that I'm, I think sometimes I'm a little too rough. My table is... Um, a little wonky sometimes so you may see it shaking I get a little carried away and rough with it so that is that part now I do want to mat the inside because I did the other one so I had thought about um, I don't really have I didn't pull more of that out but anyway, let me tell you, this um, paper was the 12 by 12 Very Vanilla cardstock. So I finally got some of that stuff in. So I was thinking of matting the inside with this. So it would kind of match the, the, um, the pattern on that. So, and not doing the um, sky, the soft sky. Not doing the soft sky on it. So, let's see, it was five and a half, I think. No, five and five eighths. And we're going up and down. No, that's not what it was. It was four and, <laughs> it was four and five eighths. Oh my gosh. It was four and five eighths by five and five eighths is what the soft sky was. I was, ah, la 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 la. I hope, or I'll run out of this one. Okay, so yeah, I was just wanting to mat, yes, that's what it was, to mat the inside here. And then you'll see this one here. So you'll still have the soft sky. I love this gold foil. Um, this is one way that I like to use up some stash. I've got some um, retired paper that I really need to move up, uh, use up, move up. <laughs> I do need to move it up my, I do need to move it up my stack so that I can um, get it. Cause I find uh, some paper and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to use this. And it's retired, but you know, <sighs> it's so pretty that it's kind of, I'm almost like a hoarder when it comes to it. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to, uh, I don't want to use it all. I'm like, oh no, I want to hang on to that one. Especially if it's, or if it hasn't been opened yet, I'm like, no, I don't want to open it. I don't, I don't want to open it. Anyway, 
isn't that gorgeous? I love that. It's a, like a her herringbone or um, Chevron top. Okay. Now, to, and this gets really thick. It's really nice when it gets matted like this. It is very substantial in weight and not flimsy. Nothing, nothing like this. This is very, very flimsy. So, and that was just, you know, something that I just saw and I thought, oh my gosh, I love it. So, I want to do it. Okay, so here's how I put this on. I do use um, Fast Fuse. Let me make sure I got it to where it's going to... And I just run it along and I run it on my craft sheet. So it went half on the card. I don't know if you guys can see this in half on the craft sheet. So basically it really doesn't stick that much to the craft sheet. So when it comes off, I just folded it over on itself. So when it comes off, then it comes up from the craft sheet and then stays on the um, stays on the uh, cardstock. And so, and another thing that I love about Fast Fuse is that really you can, even if you have, if you have an eraser, you can do it, or you can do it with your fingers, because you don't want any of this to be sticky. And so that closes that, and then these will fold in and be stuck to that. So, and I do that the same way. So, stay on it. See, a little bit of it runs off. So, and did you see it? It just came right off of it. And there that is. That, I love this Tef, it's like a Teflon, something like that craft sheet. I love the Stampin' Up grid paper for normal stuff, but when I'm dealing with a lot of glue, I love using this Teflon sheet. So, um, I can't wait. I've got in line for the Stamparatus. I can't wait to get that thing. <laughs> And so there's that side, and that will hold the cards <clears throat> or the envelopes, it doesn't matter. So now we're going to do this side, and I absolutely love this, but to decorate it, that's, I mean, it is gorgeous. Did I even get any on that? I don't think I even got it on the card stock there. I got a little bit there, huh? See? Yes, there's some sticky there. So, um, so yeah, I got in line for the Stamparitis. I'm so excited. I didn't get in line on the first round. I don't know what I was thinking, but now I'm like sick that I didn't. Let me make sure that there's no sticky there before we glue the other. Here we go. And rub it down you really if you the harder or the more you burnish it or whatever the easier it is to stick it down so this one because the fast fuse is wider than that little section nothing and that stuck down flip it over let's do this other side I don't think I got any on that one either that little lip and it came up. There we go. And I didn't on this one, but you can try to see if it's, if it's here, if there's any sticking. Because when you're sliding your cards in and out, you don't want to, um, I was reading what you said. You you save scraps everywhere. I do too, but I um I really try my best to keep them in a bin. Okay, and that's that. Now, so there's the card that will go in there, and you can see that it's you know the same, and it has the uh, soft sky, 
and you could do a belly band um, either something like this a belly band around it or um, and I think a con the contrasting color would be good um, a couple of things I thought about doing uh, to decorate this side of it is um, I thought about doing this enjoy the little things um, or uh, sometimes the smallest things make up the most room in your heart or live laugh and love uh, these coordinate with um, and I haven't even used these yet so I, I was thinking this would be a good opportunity but these coordinate uh, enjoy the little things coordinates with um, the sweetheart or the sweet and sassy I think is what it's called sweet and sassy framelit dies so that coordinates with that so I could do that or I thought about doing enjoy in soft sky um, so if I did this heart I would uh, stamp it onto very vanilla using soft sky I don't know I'm sort of torn if you do the enjoy you would definitely have to do like in and enjoy down here uh, and I thought about either making a variety of thank you cards uh, congratulation cards and um, thank you the one that I did is thank you um, so I thought about doing it like that uh, with a few more little embellishments in the belly band I don't know um, or doing this I'm very vanilla and with the soft sky hmm I think I'll do enjoy this um, maybe let's see I've got some of the cardstock already cut here so let's cut it down just a little bit more so that it goes in five and a half is usually the measurement to go in the um, what is that thing <laughs> lost my mind I really have to go in the big shot oh crazy and then you can just run these that's just one run through there so let me grab it see if I do this though there's no stamping you know and hopefully this isn't giving you a crazy I mean because it's very close right here and you don't really have to I like to save paper so I do like to you know kind of get them close but there's no rhyme or reason when you when you run them through unless you stamp them now and I could stamp them using the stamp set so we're just gonna run them through and let's see what it looks like okay let's see if that is something and I want to uh, definitely do an eclipse card for you guys. I don't know if anybody saw the eclipse card that I did that had the, uh, it was like Celebrate Home. And um, it, um, it had, I love um, designer series paper for that. Uh, I love doing the eclipse cards with that. So there's enjoy. So let's see what it looks like on that. Let's move this over if I can. So then, oh God, I've got sticky stuff all over the place. So hopefully I won't have to do that again because I'll just toss that in. Um, so let's see what enjoy looks like. I don't know. I just, I haven't really, I like it because it coordinates and it's not as bad as I was thinking maybe move it everything toward the center or everything up or like this what do you think 
haven't decided yet. Hmm. I don't know. I really, really wish I could get it all on one. And maybe I can. Maybe if I ever, even if I overlap it, maybe it would be okay. See how the J and the N overlap? Maybe that would work. Hmm. And I'm thinking, I mean, it would still, even if the Y went off. But if I did that, I would definitely want to do it at the bottom. <clears throat> and then it would still leave me, I could always offset the letters like this. How about that? Have the J down and the N up, but then the O would be the one that would need to be up, but it wouldn't, I guess it wouldn't matter, it's, it's my creation, right? So that would actually get them not necessarily overlapping. Huh, I could move the E over just a little, and the N and the J. Oh, and then that way the Y would definitely be on the gold foil designer series paper. How about that? Y's a little too high. What does that look like? Hmm? What do you think? Yay, nay. I think I kind of like it like that. I'm going to pull out my multi-purpose glue. I think I'm going to go with that. And now this glue, let me tell you, I don't know if you can see that, is like the bomb for sticking things down. And I do not know where my tweezers are. So, we'll definitely pick a spot and put this. Okay that's down. Now we'll do the end. And then these will actually set the um, the placement for the rest of the letters really. I'm trying to get them lined up there. So I'm thinking here There. And I hate getting this glue on my fingers because it appears that I have, um, <laughs> I have, uh, okay, come on, Jay, cooperate with me. Let's move it over just a hair. You can, when you're doing these letters and you have glue on them, You've got a little bit of a leeway. Number one, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's still, it's a little workable. You can work with this glue, okay? Um, so it's not that hard. Plus, too, you've got a little bit of space if you don't like over, over indulge on the glue, that you can actually um, move it one way or the other and we'll get it a little close but so see if it wasn't if I didn't I can move it down just a hair because I didn't put too much glue on it so you can move it left right up or down a little bit so you don't want to put but you want to put enough to get a good um, stick Where's that in at? About there? Whoa, now I've really got to move it over a lot. Not bad. A little bit right there. I can clean that off with an eraser. Believe it or not, you can do it with an eraser. So there's that. So you can see enjoy there. And then I can leave that space for something 
And I don't know if I want to do a belly band. I mean, I can, but do it out of this paper instead. And so basically what I do is I just wrap it around <clears throat> and just basically get your, you don't want to crease it here um, too much. You, um, when you're thinking about, I guess, the belly band, move my blade out of the way so I don't accidentally cut it. Um, this measurement from here to here, the back is, is what it's going to be. It's the height of it that you, and I can see where that was bending there. Well, let me try and get it straight. And here is where that was bending. That is, it is, it is what it is here and here. It's the width when you get your cards in that's going to be the one that uh, can fluctuate. Okay, because it can be, it can get thicker. So, give yourself a little bit of room. So, if I did it there, maybe I'll line it up maybe a quarter to the maybe a quarter so I've got that one and then if you guys can see this that that whoa, that looked really off and you can straighten it up as you if you have to there and then you will definitely want to have some you don't want a lot of overlapping but you do want some so I'm thinking of maybe cutting and see you could put that in the back actually <laughs> but I was thinking of just covering it up with a um, yeah you put that in the back <laughs> so um, you could glue it and have it what it is. Don't have to. So let's put some tape on it and just put it down. Not just make sure your sides are normal or whatever, or uh, not one way or the other. And so when you get envelopes and uh, cards in here, then, you know, it's, see how it's loose right now? But when you get envelopes and cards in here, it will definitely thicken up. All right, I'll tighten up. Um, and so now you can do, I was thinking maybe, maybe the, this, or maybe a, flower um, or maybe 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 because there's a memories in more pack I don't know I don't know if any of this will work let's see what's in here there's a memories in more pack that coordinate with this paper so you have that that's for babies so you have you know that you could put something like that on it um, something like that there's another design you could stamp something and do that so if you you could have it like that that would be um, it's really cute it is definitely for babes there's a uh, gold foil one um, or not it says this is happiness so in love with you uh, today today uh, forever loved forever loved and then you have that color there's the journaling cards which wouldn't 
work and there's more see there's a onesie uh, for this memories and more pack there's one that has a little bit more black in it but that wouldn't that wouldn't do here <clears throat> there's the I can't remember what color that is Let's see here a sand maybe something like that I don't like the ones with the black I do like the stripes um, there's that one there's more another journaling card the ones with the elephant and the little piggy which I love I love little piggies Samantha has gotten into um, I love you forever I'll like you for always as long as I'm living my baby you'll be used to read that to my son Wyatt and Dalton all the time uh, and I read it to Samantha but um Samantha has gotten into um, Peppa Pig, and I'm so excited. Thank you, guys. Um, crumb cake? Yeah, probably, Jamie. Probably is crumb cake. I love it. Um, so I'm liking that one, maybe with something stamped in it, uh, or even love. See that sticker? I put love there. Um, but that may or may not match the, see there's more stickers, uh, perfect moments, today, hello, your favorite, my favorite, adorable, precious, I think that's all the stickers, I mean, heck, I have it stamped, oh my gosh, um, You have that, I, yes, it is a gorgeous, it is a beautiful, beautiful pack. I love it. I do. I love this journaling pack. I've been working with it. See, there's more of that. Um, cardstock. I've been working with it with Samantha's. Um, memory book, one of her memory books. Um, I've got to get, I'm going to get another, um, Oh, I forget what size memory book that is. I'm thinking of going with that one. It's not really a match, though. Um, hmm. It doesn't match, but it does. So maybe that's why they use the crumb cake? Hmm. Maybe. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's let's do this. Let's see what that looks like. Let me find a another size. I've got another. Um, I don't want to cut that one. I've got more very vanilla up here. I promise. I do. Um, <laughs> It's a card that I was working on and I, and I messed it up. So, this will be enough for that. So, let's do this. I'm going to, this is a clear mount rubber stamp, but um, I don't uh, put the, the thing on them, the stickers on them. Why? Because... I, um, I don't, they don't stick that well for me. So let me trim this so that it's not bulky and standing up. I want to get a, I want to get a firm, flat surface to stamp on. There. Um, soft sky or stay zone, black. Doo -doo. I should have the Jeopardy music, right? When I'm trying to make a decision. <laughs> Just try Soft Sky. If I don't like it, we can change it. <clears throat> See how well I can ink it up. So I'm kind of glad I'm sort of relieved or relaxed that the holidays are over with. Not that I'm happy to see them gone. But it's kind of, um, it's, 
one of those things where it's the in between Christmas and New Year's that I sort of get a things are about to that so does not I'm sorry that is soft sky cardstock I kid you not that just to me does not look like soft sky ink but it was this is pool party. That's soft sky. Ah, what do you, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to go with it for right now. Maybe I should just do black. Let's do black since I'm having an issue with that. Let's do some stays on. And with this one, I ink it this way. Well, if I could quit touching... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now hopefully I don't make a mess of it. Yeah, let's just do black. Because, I mean, that really doesn't look like the cardstock to me. I don't know why. I don't know why, what it is, if I've just got one that's just not exactly um, correct, I don't know. Let's do the magnetic platform since I goofed and threw that other that okay so now we're gonna bring out we'll do the magnetic bring back out the big shot magnetic platform we'll see what this looks like I don't know maybe now what did I do with the this is the way I craft guys I'm kid you not all over the stinking place what I do in my heart do with the thing being my luck the poor thing probably fell down in a in the trash because I've got my trash off to the side <laughs> well did I set it off to the side when I was okay let's just find another one I've got a couple of these others that was the size though that I really wanted to go with, but this one, see these hearts, there's straight, and then there's the curved one. Um, so that's the curved one. The other one was the straight one that I, I have no idea what I did with the darn thing. Who knows? Anyway, so there's that. I think it'll be okay. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, it was underneath that. It was, I hope it didn't damage it, but it was underneath here. That was crazy. I hope it didn't damage it. The things I do. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this back. It's under the clear plate. Jamie, I should have read your... <laughs> oh my gosh, you're kidding me. <laughs> I should have read that. <laughs> I should have read that before I went through. Uh, thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Alright, so what do you think? Hmm? What do you think? I could do a bigger heart out of the uh, soft sky. <laughs> Girl, were you screaming at me? I mean, you know, if you would have screamed loud enough, maybe I would have heard it. <laughs> do you like that or do I need a little bit more? Like, mm, oh well, I'm going to go with it. 
put everything back before I I'm gonna go with it so I'm gonna run some fast fuse across that and do that and that's my belly band girl I wish they're in bed really Samantha's having a hard time sleeping nowadays I like it I like it and you know uh, with that size card and this was the size card that was in that one you have to of course make your own uh, envelopes um, because it's not really a, a standard but it's like just a little thank you note envelope and that's the other ones the one that I did I did an envelope but I did like a four by five because it didn't have and this is the card that I did in that one um, the other one it did it, the envelope board didn't have the um, right measurement and you would do it just out of you know very vanilla or you could just use regular very vanilla uh, envelopes but that's it that's my crafting night I love to make these I mean I just love to make different things to um, to have um, hold cards or hold gifts or whatever so it's a lot of fun but um, but that's it guys so I hope to be able to kind of do this on a regular basis I chose at night because you know my baby girl and I thought well Tuesday night's not that bad so that's it <laughs> but anyway so you guys um, thanks yeah I'll put uh, measurements uh, down below and um, and you can see them and um, catch them but yep I've got them written down but uh, I did change change it up a little bit from the previous write down um, as I was going because I didn't like um, that wider border so you know you can you can change it how you want to but I'll put the measurements down below so anyway we'll see you guys thank y'all